Welcome back. In this video we are going to proceed further deeper into Flask REST Plus module of Python and I'm going to show you a really fun application that I have figured out for this amazing tool. So basically I want to create uh, an online vault in which we can store information based on customer names and we would like to specify this information with a dictionary and we don't care about how much information we would like to store what we would like to do is to push this information to the customer context route so let's call it customer store dot py and what we are going to need for this to work is that we import from the flask module the flask class and the request object and from the flask rest uh, plus we will import the resource and the api and now we can do the usual stuff so flask the underscore name and the api is going to come from the API app. app and now what we need to do is to create this information array and this information array or dictionary is going to be our data store so to speak so we would like to create the following API route this is going to be called vault and it is going to take or expect an argument which is a string and this is going to be customer and now we can create our vault class from the resource base class and we will define a get function for this and we will expect the customer argument now what we need to check if the request uh, sorry if the information that get customer returns nothing then we would like to say that our response object is going to be customer and not available otherwise we would like to return the customer and the information hold on customer and basically this is all for the get and we will have a put function and we will expect something uh, along the lines of customer which is going to point out the context route to which we would like to store this information and we will check if the information already has such customer if not then we will create our customer and this is going to be a dictionary now what we would like to do is to iterate over every key in the request that form that keys and we simply say that information customer and we call the update function and we specify the key and the request that form key so this is how we let's say unwrap the dictionary that was passed to our customer and what we would like to do at the end is to return the following so customer and the information brackets customer and if we did everything correctly we will have this store for our customer and we can run our application so main and app.run debug equals true 
and just save it. Now we will see if it's working. So let's go back to our application, create a new browser window and just simply open this URL that we have here. So it seems to be all right. As you can see, the swagger.json was generated and we can see that we have a get and the put, put function implemented that are listening. And now we can spin up, sorry, we can spin up a new Python shell. And in this shell, what we would like to do is to import the request module sorry requests module and we will issue the requests dot get the URL is and this one forward slash vault and if we do not specify a customer name it will return a 404 because that URL is not found but if we say that customer a it says that it has found it and the response was what we have implemented. So it was not found in the information dictionary that we have and it was returned that this customer is not available. So let's put some data into it. Request that put URL equals and let me paste it and vault customer a and we specify the data and we say that our data is going to be like location which is USA the servers or server number is going to be 500 and priority is going to be high. Now if everything goes well we can see the response from our application. So this is what was put to our customer and if we get the information from the customer you can see that this was stored. So what happens if we would like to modify the number of servers? We simply reissue this post and we say that it all only has 400 servers. And now if we get the data, since because of the nature of the implementation, this updated the corresponding dictionary keys. And now this is kind of working. And uh, if you want, you can also try out with the help of this part. So customer A, execute. And as you can see in the response body, we can see the location, the server number and the priority. And technically that was all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching.